that false dualism is a dualism between false cultural icons. False cultural icons. And I want to talk about exactly what I mean. There's a true dualism between Potter and Mater. The false dualism is between the cultural icon of what it means to be a man and the cultural icon of what it means to be a woman. Where a man is living out of that false cultural icon, he can't actually bring the potter. He can't bring the activating power of creation. He's bringing a facade. He's trying to live up to something that his culture tells him he ought to be. He's trying to look like a man and he's trying to act like a man. But he's not bringing the potter, the patterning frequency of creation and of the creator. He's trying to dominate, he's trying to impose, which is an altogether different thing. Of course, it doesn't take a man to bring the potter and it doesn't take a woman to bring the mater. We all have access to these cosmic powers of creation. In the false dualism between cultural icons, there's no dynamism. There's nothing coming together because we're not talking about cosmic energies. We're talking about facades, cultural icons that have no power in them. The only power they have is given to them by the universe. And yet, because they're just a facade, they don't carry the richness. They don't carry the possibility of true union. Unifying icons does not create life. Unifying of potter and mater brings the child of life.